Hey Scorpio, it's going to be a love reading for you guys, okay? General love reading. Listen, I there's an energy out here of someone I feel like is a masculine, but it definitely could be a feminine, okay? Just flip and switch the roles if the energy needs to be flipped. There's somebody in your energy here who I feel like you're not talking to this person. You're not communicating with them. Y'all aren't really together, okay? It's you. I feel like you've moved on. I feel like you're in a good space. You've healed from the situation. I feel like there's very little concern about this person. And I don't even know if you know this energy is happening in this person's life. You know, this could have been somebody here when you were with them. They were in some, they had some seven of swords energy. Like they were very, real sneaky energy, you know, very hidden. Like they hide things. This person has some secrets. I feel like because somebody is being bribed here. Okay, there are, someone has had some secrets and they're being bribed. Now they're regretting whatever this is. I don't even know why this person's being bribed, okay? Or they somebody did something wrong and somebody's trying to put somebody's business out into the streets. Whatever it is, this person like someone here, I'm just going to cuz the energy's here so I got to say something. Okay, I got to say something. There's energy here of either a somebody being haunted in their dreams literally haunted in their dreams and disturbed and they they are like afraid they're in this paranoia right it's like somebody is being pushed to apologize to you or apologize for what they did right and and, and they cannot sleep you know this person is not having sweet dreams at all i don't this person's dreams are just this person's being disturbed i don't know i i don't know what this is about for, but but b could be the alternative here is is like somebody could have did some magic somebody could have did some magic to try to keep you away from somebody or there could be a third party in this energy somebody tried to keep you away from your person they try, may have tried to bribe your person and coerce them into being somewhere else and doing something else. And I feel like it's not working out for that person right now. It's not working out for either one of them. It ain't working out for either person. I'm just going to tell you that. I feel like y'all have moved on. You are traveling the world. You are in this uh, full, full energy, right? Because this is the full energy. You've overcome a lot of obstacles. You've overcome a lot of challenges. And you didn't allow those challenges and those obstacles to keep you down. What you did instead was move forward and you said, you know what, I'm going to conquer these obstacles and these challenges and these mountains. And you did that and you did that quite well here. Now you are just celebrating life and enjoying your the moment. You're enjoying your family, you're enjoying your friends. You're not focused on the negative. You're more focused on like what makes you happy right now. You're, you know what I mean? And so there's some good news getting ready to come towards you, collective Maybe a reason to celebrate here with this good news energy. This is Page of Wands energy with the Three of Cups energy. So something new is coming towards you. You're going to be hearing some news, getting some form of communication from somebody that you're really going to like. I don't know if that's related to this person yet or this person wants to come towards you and tell you something that you're going to feel like is good news. But let's, let's hop into it and see. I just feel like somebody here was played like a puppet. I really feel like somebody was played like a puppet in a situation and now they're like realizing they were played like a puppet and now they're in this eight of swords energy. Gemini, Libra, Aquarius energy here. Somebody's in their head and a little too much. They, this person is definitely, yeah, this person's in their head about the fact that they owe you a damn apology. Just point, point blank, period. The eight of swords with uh, the page of cups. This energy is already out here. That's that's this Eight of Swords energy, this paranoia. Knowing they need to apologize. Somebody wants to confess something to you. Somebody here is crying. I'm telling you. Somebody's trapped in their own thoughts, in their own head. Their Ten of Wands energy. Something's about to be over. Something is a burden and it's about to be over. The fact that this person needs to apologize to you, they're even some of you guys, this person is being pushed by spirit to apologize to you and because they haven't done it it's a weight on their back you know it's it's overwhelming for them yeah they know they need to apologize to you and they haven't done it yet and spirit is going to continue to haunt this person until they do six of pentacles the high priestess some of y'all they could have 
Some of y'all secretly, somebody might be having some form of money issues here, but this person could have held back giving you what they deserved. Pisces energy is here with the high priestess. Show me more. Yeah. The, seven of pentacles with the um, death card. Scorpio energy here with the death and rebirth card. It's like somebody was supposed to give something. Their intuition led them to do this, but they chose not to do it. And now they're being led to do this. They're being led to give. And, and put energy and time and effort into something so something could grow here. Yeah. Now they want to come back and transform it and resuscitate it and bring it back to life. But again, this person is in this, this frightful, depressed, trapped, phobia, paranoid energy. For playing mind games. Some, 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 I'm just going to tell you like this. Something is over. Okay. Something is over. And this person knows it's over. You already completely uh, completed this cycle with this person. The world card. You've completed the cycle. You're, you've moved on. Okay. <laughs> Judgment energy. Scorpio energy. I tell you. Somebody wants to reconcile. Let's clarify some of these. Clarify this high priestess, please. Yeah. Look at this. Oh, man, I'm telling you, man, somebody's in deep regret. They're in their head. This, there's a lot of, there's an eight of swords here, five of swords, ten of wands, okay, and the uh, nine of swords. This person is secretly stressing about a situation. This person, for some of y'all, may be crying. Like, literally, this person may be crying um, over a choice that they made or you know, Gemini energy here with the lovers and the Ten of Cups. It's like, dang, either I know who my person was or supposed they were supposed to be. They were my Ten of Cups. They were my true ultimate happiness. They were my wish fulfillment. I could have had a family with this person. I was supposed to settle down with this person and I'm missing out on that type of energy. You know, that's what it's giving. I mean, a strong connection, obviously, with the lovers and the Ten of Cups. Like, this person feels out, feels like that's what they're missing out on. But they're hiding it with this high priestess energy. And with all those thoughts in their head, that's why this person is in a corner somewhere crying. Like, about to lose their shit. That's unfortunate, you guys. That's really unfortunate. That's not good energy to be in. Why is the death card here, please? Why is the death card here? Temperance and the devil. I'm telling you, it's like the devil on one ear and an angel on the other. This is like choices, choices, choices. What do I do? Do I stay being toxic or do I heal? What do I do? What do I do? Sagittarius and Capricorn energy here. This person is struggling going back and forth. I'm surprised I don't see the two of pinnacles here. Somebody is going to have to take a balanced approach here. They got some things that they, they need to work out. Because why is this devil energy here? They're still struggling with their shadow side. Why is the world here? This 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 masculine could be an Aries. They don't have to be, but the emperor just came out. This masculine is heartbroken over this ending. They love you. They have feelings for you. They know they're, they're heartbroken. I'm telling you, this person is crying. It could be a Libra. They don't have to be. It could be a water sign. You could be a water sign. <laughs> the, Ace of, the Ace of Cups is here with the Ten of Cups. Like, this person's heartbroken over this ending. This masculine. They want to reconcile. The judgment card is already out here. They know they owe you an apology with this page of cups, but they're not doing it. And this person is going to continue to be haunted until they do so. I mean, I don't know why they don't get it. You know, it's so sad when people can make make a different choice. Okay, you made it you made a mistake in the past, but now you have the opportunity to show up different and do something different so you can get a different result. And so you can come out of this stressful mental breakdown. Right, and you can heal, but this person is still struggling. They still have the devil on one shoulder, and um, you know, the the angel on the other shoulder, on the other shoulder, talking to them in their ear. What do I do? One minute this person wants to be do right and be right, the next minute they're making all these really screwed up decisions. 
People are humans. I get it. We all make mistakes. I've been there, done that. Why is judgment here? Yeah, look at this. This is three of wands. Hmm. This person does want to move. They really are leaning towards doing something differently this time. They want to make it right. They know what they know what they did. They're hold, still holding on to you though. They are. They can't move forward. They're still holding on to you. Four of Pentacles. For you, some of y'all, this person's problem is their ego. You know, they are stubborn. They don't like to be wrong. But now, yeah, they don't like to be wrong. Four of Pentacles and the Seven of Wands energy is stubborn ass energy. Stubborn as hell. And, you know, <laughs> the chariot. There goes that dang on Seven of Swords. Yeah. You were protecting your energy from this person, especially they were being deceptive or they cheated on you or they put you in a third party situation, whatever they did. I'm not seeing here what they did, but right now, baby, I'm telling you, look at all this. Five of Cups, Five of Pentacles on the bottom of the deck. Uh, they are really going through it. I'm telling you, this person is either dealing with depression or either having a mental breakdown. They're definitely crying. They have cried over this situation, over this connection. They'll think about you. They miss you. They're in deep, dark regret. But this person can pull themselves out of this situation if they apologize to you and like admit they were wrong or that if they admit how much they love you or what they really want. Talk about your feelings. Come on now. It's actually healthy for a divine masculine to talk about their feelings. For a divine masculine to be in touch with their feelings is... is it's attractive, if y'all didn't know that, for all the masculines watching. So show me what this person is having a mental breakdown over. <laughs> Ooh, child. Child, this person feel like a clown. They feel like a fool for their behavior. I'm telling you, they do feel like a fool for their behavior. You're dealing with a twin. Some of y'all, this person feels like you're their twin flame. You're the divine feminine. They feel like there's a strong magnetic bond between the two of you that you're never going to let go of. They're never going to be able to let go of you. But this person feels like a clown. Look at this joker. They're the one who played games. He, he, this is him. He, he, he's the reason. Listen, this person loves you. They're still, they still want you secretly. Ace of Cups is already out here with the Ten of Cups. This person is watching you secretly online somewhere where they've created a secret account. Some of y'all probably already know this, but yeah, I'm telling you. The two of y'all bumped heads because somebody here wanted to still play out in the games, play sh be out in the streets and just screw eating and everything that they wanted to when they got ready to. That's why the two of y'all didn't get along. They wanted to be with you and other people when they got ready to. And that's just a no. Now this person is soul searching in this judgment energy and reflecting. Spending a lot of time alone and about to have a damn mental breakdown. So for some of you guys... This is just for some of y'all, okay? This could be somebody here who's been in trouble with the law. They've been in jail recently. They just got out of jail. Somebody could, could. I feel like this person is, is, been, is like having anger problems right now. Like they're having difficulty dealing with their emotions. You know what I'm saying? So now it's like because they're having difficulty expressing their, their emotions because they're keeping this stuff bottled up, they're, they're lashing out at everybody. They've made really bad decisions. Yeah, they're losing their self right now. They're losing sleep. They're, I'm telling you, this person's losing sleep. They, every time they go to bed at night, they are haunted. Look at this. This person goes to bed at night. This person is haunted by you. They cannot sleep. They know they need to make an. They know they need to apologize to you. They're over here crying in a corner. This person's haunted. Haunted. Replaying everything they did in their head. Because they know they wore a mask and were in this Seven of Swords energy. They were shady. Out here sleeping with other people. You know, they thought that was cool. You know, but you've turned your back on this person. You learned the truth about them and you turned your back on them. 
And since you turned your back on this person and you walked away, now this person is like going through some form of awakening, which is basically them realizing that they made this a shit show. They made this a shit show. Yeah, look at that. Told you, massive regrets. They are realizing they, they, they made this a shit show. They regret sleeping. Yeah, and they're not happy. This is, look. This is how they, this emperor showed up. So I'm so big and bad. I'm this emperor. I can have whoever, whenever, right? The women coming at me left and right. The men coming at me left and right. I want to sleep around. When I get to it is when I get to it. When I talk to the collective is when I want to talk to the collective. And oh, the collective's not there anymore. The collective's not here anymore. I'm not happy. I can't sleep. I made the wrong decision. They, oh, somebody's getting readings on you. <laughs> this is so funny this reminds me of a reading I did somebody is like trying to tap in like I said earlier there was an energy of like somebody doing some form of magic or they I don't know or somebody did magic on them I don't know it's, it could be vice versa or it could be all of the, the above somebody's definitely lighting the candle and praying to God like please help me I told you somebody got secrets didn't I tell you this person kept his secrets from you? Some of y'all, this person had a secret family or a secret baby they didn't tell you about. You let go and you moved on because this person had too many secrets. Your intuition told you to let go and move on and start to love yourself. For some of y'all, you did everything you could to cope. To get over, for some of you, this is not for everybody. Some of y'all could have lost a child dealing with this person through all the dealing with all the stress. Okay, if that's not the situation here, this person could have recently found out that a child was not theirs, and that is the secret. Okay, that is a secret. Okay, somebody just may have gotten someone pregnant that they just were having fun with a Jezebel. And this Jezebel could have said, oh, I'm pregnant and it's your baby. And this masculine's like, how? Sway, how? You know? <laughs> but lo and behold, for some of y'all, it turns out this masculine was not, this was not this masculine's child. That's not for everybody, okay? Just flip and switch it. But definitely somebody here was backstabbed and deceived. And this shit just came out, I'm telling you. And now this person is experiencing an ego death and they're in a downward spiral. They don't know what to do with themselves. Definitely about to have a mental breakdown. So we're just going to send this masculine love and healing light. Okay, let's just do that. Um, what does this masculine want to say to my collective, please? Somebody here could be drinking. They may just quit smoking cigarettes. They may be smoking cigarettes here. Um, yeah, like I said, this person earlier um, was unclear about how they felt about you. This person's unclear about their whole life in general. I'm going to just be just that honest. They're going through some form of mental breakdown. And it's unfortunate. And they're going to have to deal with this on their own. But do they feel like... Do they love you? Yes. And they know that nobody compares to you, regardless of how many people they slept with. You know, you know what I'm saying? It doesn't matter. It still comes back to you. No one compares. Just period. Regardless. Hmm. This person may, the good news for some of y'all might be that this person ended something with somebody, a karmic that they were with, and now this person is single. They're, they're not attached to anybody else. But the downside to that is they're not ready to be in a relationship right now. They don't know what they want. They may come towards you to gaslight you. So be careful with this person. Okay. You know, they, they were lying to you. You weren't crazy about anything that you felt. So if your intuition was telling you something about this person, you were right. Okay. You were right. Or you were telling this person about whoever this Carmisha was that they were dealing with this Jezebel. Some of y'all were telling them to be on, look, watch out. And this person didn't believe you. They, they tried to make you look crazy. Well, guess what? Now guess who's looking crazy based on this energy I'm seeing. And I don't mean to be funny, but, you know, now somebody needs some time to heal. Now this person needs time to heal from what this karmic did to them. Or what, or they need to heal from the drama that they created based on their decisions. 
This person is addicted to the attention of other people. I told you, people were showing this masculine all this attention and they were just soaking it up like a sponge. And then this person just wanted to feel loved and needed. And that all goes back to this ego base, Th these ego based decisions. You know, this just, you know, it's just it's pretty sad, unfortunately. So this person needs time to heal. This keeps coming out. They really do. They got to focus on their self love. I think you already know that. And Twin Flame is out here again. So we have Twin Flame out here twice. Twice. Where's that other Twin Flame card? So you you're you are helping this connect um this masculine heal, whether you know it or not. Okay. Whether you know it or not. Even if you're not talking to this person anymore, okay? Let's get one more. All right. Emotional intimacy. I'm afraid to truly up to you. Being raw and authentic with my emotions is something I'm still working on. I told you this person is still going through so much. They don't even know how to feel. They're just feeling like a, a bunch of stuff in their head. And, and it, I feel like it's emotional roller coaster over here for this masculine. You know, they're definitely over here in their feelings. It says it's really simple. How do I feel? I want you. I want us forever. They do want you forever. They love you. They feel an emotional connection, but they know they have some things that they need to get in order. They got to just get their mind right. They've got to get their mind right. But part of the reason this person may come back towards you is because they're concerned that you moved on and they're jealous about it. They're jealous that you've moved on. So even if you haven't moved on, this person still thinks you have it, or they're just afraid and they're paranoid. We talked about that paranoid energy, right? Where this person's like... I, I gotta hurry up and get back towards my my feminine before it's too late. So that's your reading. You could be dealing with any sign, but uh, hit the like button, please. Like, share, and subscribe to the channel if anything resonated for you here. Until next time, love y'all. Bye.